can't log in after factory reset in Windows 11, then you are at the right place as here is how to fix it. Let's get started. This is the Windows Club. Reset this PC is a feature in Windows 11 or 10 that allows you to reinstall Windows by keeping your files or removing everything. The Keep My Files option does not remove your files and accounts created on your system. Hence, you can sign back in to your existing accounts after resetting your PC. However, some users cannot log in after a factory reset in Windows 11. If you encounter the same issue, use the fixes provided in this video. Let's get started. Method 1. Perform a hard reset The first step is to perform a hard reset. Turn off your computer, remove the battery. If it is a laptop, remove the power cord. If it is a PC, press and hold the power button for up to 45 seconds. Turn on your system. Check if you can sign in. Method 2. Try other ways to log in. Windows 11 always shows other sign-in options if they exist on your system. Click on the sign-in options link on your lock screen and select the sign-in options. See if that helps. Method 3. Boot in safe mode. If the other sign-in options do not work or are unavailable, boot in safe mode and create a new user account. To enter safe mode, you need to use MS config, but you cannot do so because you are stuck on the lock screen. Therefore, you must use the Windows recovery environment to boot into safe mode. You need to have already created a USB recovery drive. Now reboot the computer and boot to the recovery drive. Select your preferred language. Select troubleshoot, then advanced options, then startup settings, then restart. On the restart, select safe mode with networking. You can also follow this guide to boot into safe mode. Once you are in safe mode, open Windows 11 settings and create a new user account. To do that, press Win plus I to open Windows settings. On the left, select Accounts. Now on the right, select Family. Next, proceed to add an account. In the pop-up that opens, enter your email address and password when asked. Complete the process to create your account on Windows 11. You can also follow this guide to create a new user account. If you cannot create a new user profile, you can enable the hidden administrator account and log into that account. After signing into the hidden administrator account, you can create a new administrator account. Now, sign into the newly created user profile. If this works, you can copy all your account data from the previous file to the new profile using a third-party tool like TransWiz. Method 4. Reset your account password on another computer. If other sign-in options do not work, you can try resetting your Microsoft account password. For this, you will need another computer. On another computer, launch a web browser and sign in to your Microsoft account. Now, open its settings and change your account password. After changing your account password, log out of your account on that computer and go back to your laptop or computer. Make sure that is connected to the internet. Sign in by entering the new account password. Method 5. Reset your PC again. Your PC might not have reset properly. Try to reset it again. This time, try to reset it through an installation media. Create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 installation media and plug it into one of the USB ports of your PC. Now enter Windows recovery environment and reset your PC from there. You will see these options. Cloud download, local reinstall. The cloud download option is the best option to reset a PC. However, for this option, our, your system should be connected to the internet. If you do not have an active internet connection, you can proceed with the local install. For this, you need to create an installation media of Windows 11 OS with a bootable USB device. Method 6. Perform a clean installation of Windows. If none of the fixes help you, the last resort is to perform a clean installation of Windows. Since you already have backed up your data, you can proceed with the clean installation. If you have not backed up all your data, back up in WinRE before proceeding. On a working computer, create a bootable USB flash drive following this guide with Windows installation media and use it to install Windows. You may have to change the boot order in your BIOS. This tip will erase all your data, including all user accounts. So that's it. Subscribe to the Windows Club for all your tech solutions related to Windows. Thanks for watching.